that and more as we get up with you on this Thursday from the Seaport. Greeny here. Delighted you're there. My football crew is ready to go. But let us go to breaking news immediately. Our NBA insider extraordinaire, Adrian Wojnarowski, has been dropping bombs left and right. And we have a new one this morning. Woj, what do we have? Uh, Greeny, Anthony Davis is finalizing a five-year, $190 million max deal to return to the Lakers. Uh, his agent, Rich Paul, tells me that deal will include an early termination option before the fifth year, uh, before the 24-25 season. So now Anthony Davis and LeBron James both locked up long term. I'm told that Davis could sign that contract as soon as today. Yeah, so LeBron with a two-year extension on top of the year that he had. That's three more years for him, AD, for five years now. So the Lakers in extraordinarily good shape going into this season. And I mentioned Woj has been very busy with that breaking news on top of the trade last night. For those, Woj, who didn't see it, let's go through the monster deal from the NBA last night, the Rockets and the Wizards. Yeah, John Wall headed to the Houston Rockets along with a 2023 first round pick for Russell Westbrook. Uh, that was a deal that came together very quickly yesterday. The two general managers talked for the first time in weeks in the afternoon and they had a deal a few hours later agreed uh, on the parameters of the deal. And, and now, you know, for both Houston and Washington, uh, each is trying to please their franchise player, James Harden and Bradley Beal. They exchanged point guards. Both point guards wanted to go to the other team. And there's a lot, of, a lot at stake for both Washington and Houston now as they move forward and trying to keep Bradley Beal, trying to keep James Harden long term. So, so many moving parts in all of this. Again, it's almost hard to keep track of. Is there any way of gauging at this point how this will impact James Harden, who we know has been giving serious thought to wanting out of Houston? Do we have any way of knowing if this will make him happy? Well, he was certainly, he had a preference of John Wall over Westbrook, although in the last couple of years, you know, Harden has moved teammates in and out, brought Chris Paul in, moved him out. Same with Russell Westbrook now. Uh, whether that's going to be enough uh, to convince him to stay, to want to be there long term, Rockets aren't sure about that. Uh, they do have a cushion to work with. Remember, James Harden's under contract for two more years. Uh, so they're going to start the season with Harden and Wall, and, and they're hopeful that John Wall can get back to that all-star form, a five-time all-star, a former number one overall pick. And if they can get John Wall back playing at a high level, you know, they're hopeful that that will, will be able, that will help to make a case to James Harden. All right, so just extraordinary. Again, recapping last night, Woj, with the news of the huge trade, and this morning, breaking right here on Get Up. It is a five-year, $190 million deal for Anthony Davis in L.A. We'll get you and Jay Will back a little later to break this thing down. Woj, outstanding. Thank you so much on this very... On SportsCenter AM, we have a Woj bomb on this Thursday morning. All-NBA forward Anthony Davis finalizing a five-year, $190 million maximum contract to stay with the L.A. Lakers. Clutch Sports CEO Rich Paul telling ESPN that deal includes an early termination option prior to the fifth season in 2024-25. And the deal could be signed as soon as today. Andrew Wojnarowski joining us here on SportsCenter AM. Woj, what more can you tell us about how this deal came together? Yeah, Randy, uh, Anthony Davis, his agent, Rich Paul, have been talking through uh, the length of a deal that they wanted to do with the Lakers. They knew they were returning to L.A., and you know, they worked through details last night with, uh, with each other, with the Lakers, and he's going to sign that five-year deal he'll have an early termination option after the fourth year, uh, 2000, before the 2024-25 season, when he'll still be in his early 30s and be able to go back uh, and, and presumably get another big contract. So now he, is, uh, he has one more year on his deal than LeBron James, uh, who signed an extension yesterday. But now Anthony Davis and LeBron James both locked in long-term as the Lakers pursue more titles in LA. That is a problem for the rest of the Western Conference and let's be honest really for the rest of the NBA. That's Adrian Wojnarowski with the very latest. Keep it with us on SportsCenter. On SportsCenter, all NBA forward Anthony Davis is finalizing a five-year, $190 million maximum contract to stay with the Los Angeles Lakers. 
CEO Rich Paul of Clutch Sports telling ESPN, deal includes an early termination option prior to the fifth season in 2024-25. Deal could be signed as soon as today. And AD was the keystone of that Lakers defense. Opponent shooting 38.9% last season with him as the closest defender. Among the more than 150 players to defend at least 500 shots, only defensive player of the year, Giannis Antetokounmpo, allowed a lower percentage. We're going to have Woj on this momentarily. You know, it's funny hearing our office, our front office insider, Bobby Marks, talk about the Russell Westbrook John Wall trade is a rare Supermax for Supermax deal, but it's true. The contracts work. Wizards sending Wall in a first round pick to Houston in exchange for Westbrook. But what do the analytics say? ESPN's Kirk Goldsberry exploring that in his latest Off the Charts. The 2023 NBA draft trade talks had been stalled since mid-November until both GMs got on the phone and found a way to hash out a deal. Let's talk about the backstory and how we got here with our insider, Brian Winhorst. Wendy, it was clear the Westbrook experiment in Houston didn't go as planned, but why did both teams make this deal now? Yeah, I know that this is a trade of all-star point guards making $40 million a year, and you, you tend to focus on those players. But this trade is really about the other stars on these teams. This is about Bradley Beal and about James Harden. Uh, this is the Wizards trying to move on from a relationship that had gotten a little bit rocky. And look, the Wizards want to try to make the playoffs this year because they do not want Bradley Beal asking out. And they feel that this trade will improve them because John Wall's been out with injuries so much. And in Houston, while I do not believe that this is going to save the Harden relationship, mm -hmm. the Westbrook-Harden marriage had failed. And this is an attempt to try to keep things together as they try to start the season with James Harden on the roster. So um, very much about holding on to the other stars as, the guys, as much as the guys who got traded. Now, you mentioned Wall and the injuries. He hasn't played the last two years as he's rehabbed his Achilles. What do you think is the potential that his comeback actually makes the Rockets better than when they had Westbrook? Yeah, so the Rockets' wager here, I mean, they're getting a first-round pick in this deal, but the wager here is that he will be able to recover from this injury, and at age 30, with his three years and over $150 million left on his contract, that he will actually sort of age better than Westbrook. Now, there have been workouts in recent months uh, with Wall in Los Angeles and Miami. His peers have seen him and reported back to the Rockets that he looks very good. Tony, this is a terrible injury to overcome, without question, but... The Rockets are hoping that they can stitch something together and create some momentum with James Harden. And they hope that a surprising John Wall will be better in the short run and in the year two and three of this contract. We'll have to wait and see. Now, 14 combined all-star appearances making moves in this blockbuster deal. Brian Winhorst, as always, appreciate the insight. Drew, say, good to see you. We'll see you down the road. NBA champs making news. LeBron James agrees to a two-year, $85 million extension with the Lakers. Deal ties James through the 22-23 season with the Lakers, which would be his 20th in the league. Average better than 25, better than 10, and almost eight rebounds while finishing second in regular season MVP voting and winning a ring and getting a finals MVP. As LeBron's salary increases, so does his age. He's owed just over 39 this upcoming season, and that extension kicks in after that, replacing the player option. James will make 44 and a half when he's 38 years old. Hope Dave McMenamin enjoyed the three minutes off he got out of the bubble and the season getting ready to start. We're uh, saddling back up and riding our Lakers horse here. I don't know that there's ever a bad time to take 80 some odd million dollars in, in guaranteed money, but, but why now for LeBron? It kind of follows the same playbook, Scott, that he had back in 2016. He wins the championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers. He re-submits uh, his commitment uh, and loyalty to the, the, the franchise because that gave him everything he wants out of his NBA experience. Being able to put his body, his mind, his family through an NBA season in order to get the ultimate prize of winning a championship and you know validating his existence, trying to strive for greatness for the greatest of all time. He did this again here. Win the championship with the Lakers. Why did he have to think about going anywhere else? And of course, the other caveat, just last year, we were talking about him being in his mid-30s, missing the playoffs, having the biggest injury of his career. Well, this actually guards against some of that, gives him an extra year of guaranteed money, $85 million, not a bad payday. Well, the ultimate thing, I think, for LeBron, and he spoke of it, you know, is, is maybe someday teaming up with his son. Now, look, Bronny, who knows if he's going to be an NBA uh, 
talent, if he's an NBA talent. We don't know that yet. But if we do the math here, Dave, you don't have to squint to see what it would be. Free agency sets up around the time, presumably, Bronny could be heading to the NBA. All right, is it reasonable to connect those dots? Yeah, certainly. I mean, think about it. LeBron put it out there in the 2017 Finals that the greatest accomplishment of his career would be someday playing alongside his son in the NBA. This contract ends in 2023 at the same time that his son, Bronny, is slated to graduate from high school. Now, right now with the current CBA, Bronny couldn't come right from high school to the NBA. But who knows if the CBA will have adjustments between now and then. And certainly, even if Bronny is not necessarily an outright lottery pick, if he's a borderline guy who you think could help your franchise potentially, while also... <laughs> be a guy who brings the gravitational pull of his father, who's one of the greatest players of all time, that's a real possibility. Sure it is. And I think it's reasonable, given the type of fitness and commitment to fitness, Dave, that LeBron has shown to say, even like, like, like to a degree like Brady, you know, like even if his age starts with a four, I think in LeBron's case, it's almost he's got a little Benjamin Button quality. I think it's reasonable to think he could play competitively at that stage. Do you? I, I think so. And obviously, we just talked about that season, nearly uh, season ruining injury a year ago with the, the groin tear. But listen, I mean, this will take him through 20 seasons in the league. He'll be just shy of his 39th birthday. Who's to say he could play two, three, four more years at that point? He's already pushed the envelope so far already. I wouldn't put anything past him. And certainly, if he has that carrot of the motivating factor of playing alongside his son. You, you, you know, that's enough to probably get himself to do those extra three-a-day workouts yeah. in the offseason. Man, that's a hell of a lot of pressure on a young man named after his dad to be, to be just good enough. You don't have to be as good as your dad.